večeras odlukom građana Crne Gore obnovljena, nezavisna, suverena država Crna Gora. Baš, ne sjećaš li se, znači, onaj referendumska noć, dan prije, dan poslije, svako ko je, ja mislim, studirao inostranstvo koje je radio, došao je, nikad nisam vidio toliko ljudi na ulice, sve je bilo u crveno, znači, svi su bili u nekoj energiji, sve je bilo zastave, majice. Ludilo, baš ludilo, pozitivni neki naboj, nevjerovatan. Narod je, opet, što pričamo o tome jedinstvu, narod je to prihvatio. Ljudi su nastavili potpunik koji je glasao za jedničku državu, ljudi su nekako, nije bilo nikakvih tenzija, nije bilo, sve se odvijalo normalno. Najtužnije je bilo ta takvičenja koja smo igrali bez identiteta. Nastupaš pod imenom Jugoslavije koje je ostalo zapančeno kao velika Jugoslavija, SFR je bivša. I onda nastupaš pod imenom Jugoslavije, niko ne zna ko je Crna Gora, gdje je Crna Gora, dobar dio Evrope, uopšte ne zna. In 2010, the, uh, the team appointed Dragan Adzic as their coach, and uh, he really emerged out of nowhere. A lot of people weren't too familiar with him. We were all, let's say, young people, happy that it's a person from home, a person from here, a person who took the selection and who we hoped that he would do the best he could do. He was um, a very charismatic coach, very passionate. He was a very charismatic coach, very passionate. He would pace the line incessantly. He was engaging with the players on the court and the referees most of the time. Ja jesam neko ko vjeruje u razvoj karaktera, pa sam stvarno kompletno tom periodu kad sam bio selektor jako radio na tome da 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 razvijamo karakter u smislu da ne damo na sebe. Srbi i Crna Gora su se razdvojile, ali meni su i roditelji jedno i drugo rođeni u Crnoj Gori, tako da je negde bilo i logično uopšte da igram za Crnu Goru. Igra Lebojana, Popović, Maja Savić. Videla sam da možda sa njima možemo da napravimo nešto veliko. Then came to the 2011 World Championships and they'd had great hopes at these championships. But unfortunately lacked consistency and ended up finishing a modest 10th place. And so they went into 2012 with a lot of people feeling this is a talented side, but is it a medal side? Four months after winning Olympic silver in London, Montenegro were at the European Championships in Serbia, the country that they uh, voted for independence from just six years earlier. So for Montenegro, it was a, a new era at uh, Euro 2012. Uh, Popovic was gone, Savic was gone, and a lot of people were wondering, can they maintain the momentum that they had at the London Olympics. And they went serenely through the preliminary round with three victories and uh, were looking very much like another contender as they went into the main round. But then we came to the semi-final between Montenegro and Serbia, and that was a very interesting match. You could really feel the tension in the arena. Pre tu utakmicu sa Srbijom gdje smo imali press konferenciju, onako probali su malo novinari da me isprovociraju sa tim nekim pitanjima. Ja sam bila ni nervozna na toj utakmici iako sam stvarno na početku dobila par zvižduka sa tribina. Welcome back to the Combank Arena in Belgrade and semi-finals day the Women's European Handball Championship. The crowd, the sound was deafening throughout. Not 
more than three metres away, and it's another yellow card. Into the wing. And again. Montenegro defending very, very hard. Absolutely terrific here in the Combank Arena. But it's a dynamic, a dangerous tension. I said it's that tension. We go into the last minute of the semi-final, or will it go to extra time? The clock is still ticking. Katarina Bulatovic, it's safe. 25 seconds to take this to extra time. It's saved! And Montenegro had the ball! Montenegro have done it! It was a high-quality game with a lot at stake for both teams. But Montenegro won it, and they would go through to the final. Imamo mi put na koji način to nismo uspjeli u Londonu, da mi ispunimo, ne da su oni nas, jer mi smo u Londonu izgubili mi, a ne da je pobjedila nas Norveška, što je velika stvar pred drugu utakmicu. Welcome to the Combank Arena in Belgrade in Serbia and the final of the Women's European Handball Championships. Katarina Bulatovic into the wing. Good play. Here comes Suland again into the line. Oh, beautifully done. And the Montenegrin fans chant even louder. It was nip and tuck. There was never very much in it. And you always had a sense somehow that this was going to be a special finish. And it proved exactly that. To the last minute we go. Radicevic goes in on the line. Oh, it's in! Klizevic has scored, and could that be it? Incredible tension here in the Combank Arena. Here we go then. The move is called. I'll start. She scored. They're back in it. The Norwegian fans celebrate. We're off into extra time again. What a finale! Ja sam jedinom dilemu imao kad se kad se kad je završio regionalni dio, ovaj regularni dio što je deset minuta, ko će sa sa njima još? Mislim kako ćemo to fizički? First period of extra time. The crowd by now were at fever pitch in the arena and lifted by that, Montenegro moved ahead and at one point built up a three-goal lead. And you thought this is it? Norway, could they break back in again now? I'll start, she scored! Goalkeeper's going off, they put an extra attacker! They've leveled it! But we will have more extra time. We always have to play, but we know that we're somewhere better. We know that we can do it. And why don't we finish this game again? Penalty, Katarina Bulatovic. There was also Nata and everything, but I think that we were that day, in that final, we were the most cold in the head. Ball stolen! And again, Miljanic can't quite lift it. Angela Bulatovic, she scored! Radicevic urges on, she's in tears. And Montenegro have broken the Norwegian stranglehold. Montenegro are the new European champions. To je nešto stvarno neverovatno i... Ne, ne znam ni kako bi to opisala, ja kažem, svaki put kad pričam o tome, ja se bukvalno naježim i... Taj osjećaj ponosa koji one, koje su oni izazvali kod nas, to je, to je nevjerovatno. To je i sad, sad budi emociju kod mene. 
kompletna ta slika iz arene je nešto što staje za živote, da kažem. To je istorijski trenutak crnogorskog sporta i... Kruna. Život na nekoga ko voli svoju zemlju i kruna nečega što može da da svoje zemlje.